developing also this morning. Boise students, they're headed back to in-person learning. That's right. The Boise School District shared plans to get kids back into the classroom full-time next month. Our reporter, Ricardo Coronado, has the details. A roller coaster of a year. However, I do think that what our teachers do best is in-person instruction. The Boise School District Board of Trustees has decided to phase all students back into five days a week in-person learning. March 9th, bringing back K-6 special education K-12 district program students all at the same time. And then March 29th again, bringing in everybody, including the secondary. Again, March 9th, because the staff being immunized, we have a phase in for groups to ease operational impacts of so still having the K-6 separate from the 712. Surveys shared during the special board meeting showed most parents about half want their kids back in the classroom. The board chose from among four plans to make that happen. There's pros and cons to each of them. Our concern is that our, our staff are fully immunized if they need to be and if they choose to be. Um, so March 9th is that date. If, um, if students are our priority, which they are and they should be, then we need to think about the safety for those students and staff. While COVID precautions will be in place, social distancing might not be possible. The person to person, six feet social distancing is, is, will not be able to be accomplished in all of our classrooms. Um, the, the idea behind the potting and, um, and it is to create the six feet social distancing between as many people as we can. The decision follows similar announcements from the Nampa and West Ada school districts, which also plan to resume at least partial in-person instruction next month. COVID case counts in school have stayed low, but the pandemic is not over. School officials say they'll be monitoring very closely as students return to class. We do care and we are paying attention and we will continue on a thoughtful process. Ricardo Coronado, Idaho News 6.